New, 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 new world order. What is going on guys, Brutal Live back with another video and today we have the brand new Target exclusive Hulk Hogan 3 pack. Each Hulk Hogan in this pack is from a different era. We got an early Hogan, WCW Hogan, back in WWE Hogan. This pack looks absolutely stunning. Massive window right on the front showing all the figures and the accessories. Look at the detail in the packaging as well. You got the classic WWE logo over there you could see it go to red to black and white right back to the ketchup and mustard like look at the detail on this Hulkamania NWO Hulk Hogan still lives true effects head scan technology used with every figure in this pack yes we're gonna be getting this open in this video you can see all the different names down there well should I say it's the same name just in different font you got the elite collection logo there Mattel it's recommended for ages 8 plus on the side you have the elite collection logo on the back you can see all the different versions of Hulk Hogan you got Hulkamania Hogan WCW NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and then you got Hogan back in WWE. Freaking amazing. There's a little read up on the bottom there. If you guys are interested, feel free to pause the video to read. And of course, it's by Mattel, who's empowering the next generation through play. There's a look at the side one more time, seeing the three different versions of Hogan. Here's a look at the bottom. If you guys need the UPC to show your target employee, feel free to do so and take a screenshot of that. And without further ado, we are going to waste no more time and get this out of the box. Starting off first with the 80s Hulk Hogan, he is coming with two cloth shirts, one being a very elastic material that I am not a fan of. Okay, yes, it does get rid of the Velcro in the front, but it's annoying because the arms on the Hulk Hogan are not interchangeable, so getting this thing off is a pain in the neck. I felt like I was going to tear these stitches right out of the cloth, and I was like so worried I was just going to ruin this accessory when I had to get it off. You have to slide it above the arms unless there's an easier way to get it off. I like the cuts in the back and once again, it's a nice looking shirt. No doubt about it. No velcro in the front. It looks really nice, but it's a pain in the neck to get on and off the freaking figure. My goodness. This one, honestly, I prefer even though it has the velcro in the front. You can do the tearing taunt like when he tears his t-shirt. I had no problem with this. One cloth shirt, in my opinion, would have been fine with this Hulk Hogan. I like the Hulkamania on the front. I think it's cool. Interchangeable hands wise, we have a set of microphone holding hands, pointing hands, as well as fisted hands. So we can do some awesome taunt with those interchangeable hands. This is the only Hulk Hogan figure in this three pack that's coming with a championship. We have the big Andre championship here, which looks really nice. We've seen this a long time ago with the Defining Moments Hulk Hogan. It's basically just repainted here. It looks pretty nice. I do like the look of this belt. It's got an extra long strap so it fits around the Hulk Hogan very, very well. To the Hulk Hogan figure itself, I love this head scan, bro. I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park. It's so unique compared to other Hulk Hogan figures. Yes, he has the bandana, which sort of covers his right eye. I love the look of that. And he's biting down on part of the bandana. It makes him look so tough and so awesome. Look, the bandana continues to go into his freaking hair. You can't see it there because it's under his hair. He's got a little bald spot right there. Like, I just love this head scan. It's brand new. It looks super fresh. Can't wait to put it on a whole. I'm going to make a Hogan shelf. I'm literally making a Hogan shelf. We've seen this entire body before. Basically, it's the Defining Moments body uh, just repainted. I like the tan, though. I think the tan is amazing here for Hogan. He's got the double jointed elbows, the white wrist tape, these nice baby blue, light blue uh, freaking trunks right here, which look really fresh. This two-tone pair of knee pads here with dark maroon on the front and then red on the back. And then the boots are the same color as the trunks, the light baby blue with the white laces and the white soles. Into the darker side of Hollywood. His accessories are freaking awesome. And this figure itself is very, very exciting. Here's a look at the bandana. It says Hollywood right on the front. Same mold that we've seen in the past with the little tie in the back. His glasses are pretty freaking awesome as well. You got the silver rimmed glasses with the black lenses. This t-shirt was part of a sneak peek at the Mattel headquarters when I visited there. They had this in the display case and they're like, these little shirts here are sneak peeks and this was part of the case and here is the pack that they were reminiscing. We got a Hulk Hogan Hollywood Rules t-shirt. We've never seen a shirt like this before. Look at that. The cutoff. So it's just going to hang off the sides. The arms are going to be fully exposed. I like this shirt a lot and the flame 
designs and that logo is just dope. Interchangeable hands, we do have the uh, two sweet hands that we saw with the Ringside Collectibles exclusive, as well as some just open hands right here. And this is all molded here. You could feel all of this, which is awesome. It's not just painted. Really cool. And I like how you can still see the uh, skin tone through there and it's all tan. Look at how tan bro is, dude. And he looks so accurate. Holy cow! I'm not sure if he's sporting a brand new head scan here. I feel like this is a reused head mold, just repainted. And it looks good. I'm fine with it. I like the smug look going on. The two-tone beard looks cool. The hair going around to the back with the bleached hair. Amazing. The torso on the Hogan looks so good. Oh my gosh, Mattel, thank you. They always like to use like the shredded look, and it just wasn't accurate. Like This looks like that. Like This torso is literally perfect for Hogan. I love it, too. Dude. The arm choice is great. Double jointed arms, white wrist tape with the black gloves that I showed already. The pants go crazy. Putting the arms up there, I want to show off some of the detail on the pants. Going down here, it does say Hollywood, and you can see some film from a camera because this is Hollywood Hogan. I love the thunderbolts going throughout the legs. On this side, you can see more thunderbolts. It's kind of hidden by the knee pad, but it says for life right here. Of course, for NWO for life. Some of the lightning bolts go to the back of his butt there. He is wearing two black knee pads, and the detail doesn't stop look at the boots the inside nwo nwo blue flames coming up on the side of the boots you can see a picture of hogan hogan always had the craziest boots bro uh so for them to capture it here with this figure they, they just nailed it this is amazing especially when you put the accessories on let's do that new new world order here is hogan standing right next to 80s hogan i got him tearing the shirt there and he looks stupendous there's hulk hogan and they're on top of the box if you guys are wondering why I have a high vantage point here. Uh, they look fantastic. I do think the Hollywood Hogan should have came with an NW, uh, NWO spray painted WCW World Heavyweight Championship. I think that would have been really cool. And a weight belt. I feel like he's lacking a Hollywood weight belt here. Like, where's the weight belt, bro? Always had one. Unless maybe this specific attire, he didn't wear one, but I swear he always had a weight belt on uh, in the NWO. Uh, but yeah, it's. I still think it's a fantastic figure. I love the pants. The accessories that it does come with are awesome. Into the WWE returning Hulk Hogan. He is coming with a two-tone boa right here, which looks dope. I like when they do this style of boa. You have four different streamers here hanging down, different colors. I think it looks good. It's better than just one streamer on each side. This Hogan's coming with a weight belt. It says Hollywood on the back in red. Is it updated? No. We still have that classic style of weight belt right here where it buckles up in the front. And you can see the studs. They have yet to update this. They still need to update it to where we see a belt buckle in the front. I know it's in the works. I know it's in the works. Mattel's working on it. We're seeing two shirts here, similar to the 80s Hogan. We're seeing the elastic material one, which once again, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. It did slide off easier though with this Hogan because his ball joints are sort of flatter. On the 80s one, it's like a ball so it was intensely hard to get off but this one wasn't as hard so i can actually get behind this one's this shirt is awesome by the way hulk still rules got the tears in the back same design on this one just this one has of course the tear in the front which i prefer this one i think this one's cooler and i would have been totally fine with just one cloth shirt uh i can't believe i'm even saying that like denying a second cloth shirt but i would have been totally fine with that here's a look at the uh bandana here same as the nwo one same mold at least just repainted it's yellow says hulk still rules we're seeing a set of microphone holding hands, fully open hands, and fisted hands. And these hands will also work with the NWO Hogan. It's the same tan. So if you guys are wondering, you could use those hands for the NWO one as well. This head scan is freaking sick, bro. I think it looks exactly like Hulk Hogan when he returned to WWE. He's got the two-tone beard because he's just coming off of his run as Hollywood Hogan, which looks dope. The eyes are looking directly ahead. He's still got the bald spot. He's got the bleached hair in the back, which looks dope. The tan is so freaking tan like i said it's the same tan as the nwo one in the pack same mold same tan and i love it double jointed elbows he's got the flatter ball joints which look really nice it just looks realistic white wrist tape and then he is sporting the ketchup and mustard pants right here you can see the red slash marks at the top with the yellow in the background it continues back here there's no specific like logos or anything that like says hulk hogan on the pants themselves or the knee pads knee pads are just red but when you move to the boots that's 
where it says Hogan on the side with the red flames and the white laces, which look absolutely dope. This is a really solid Hogan. If I had to rank them all, honestly, I'd say my favorite one being the NWO one. Second would be the early 2000s one, and then third would be the 80s Hogan. But overall, I think they're all pretty freaking fun, and when they're all next to each other, they look freaking sick, bro. I'm definitely going to have to make a whole Hogan shelf. Let me know what you guys think about the three-pack, and if you're going to get it, down in the comment section down below. Once again, it is Target exclusive. Uh, I would normally say, hey, pick it up from Rinks like Collectibles using discount code live at chicken to save 10%, but it's Target exclusive. Let me know what you thought of the review, and I'll see you guys next time. But a lot is...